Hello, my name is George Hune, founder and president of Data Machines. Today I'm going to talk about maximizing project portfolio value with real optimization. Suppose you have 30 projects that would cost a total of $40 million and require 30 full-time employees, but you only have a budget of $20 million and 22 full-time employees. And what if you want a minimum ROI of 15%? And what if you want to control the average portfolio risk? In a 30-project portfolio, there are over 1 billion possible project combinations. In a 40-project portfolio, there are over 1 trillion possible combinations. So how do you pick the set that will deliver the most value and not exceed your constraints? Real optimization allows you to find a set of projects that yields the maximum portfolio value when you have cost, resource, or other constraints. Some project portfolio management applications optimize against cost by simply starting at the top of the project list and stopping at the point where the money runs out. That is not optimization at all. Besides the fact that this approach treats project cost as the only constraint and ignores other constraints such as resources and time, what if there were several projects below the one where you stopped that would together deliver more value than one of the selected projects and also cost less? You'd miss that value entirely. Furthermore, this approach does not consider the portfolio's efficient frontier. The efficient frontier represents the maximum output, such as profit, that can be achieved for a given input, such as cost. To find the efficient frontier for a portfolio, you would take the output value for each project and divide it by its corresponding input value and then order the projects from highest to lowest. For example, ordering a portfolio by profit divided by cost would rank the projects by the most units of profit per unit of cost. Using efficient frontiers can show you where the greatest, quote, bang for your buck, unquote, is. When you've scored your projects by value, you can get an efficient frontier of the value score over cost to see portfolios that will give you the most value per unit of cost. So we can see that simplistic approaches to portfolio optimization won't work for finding optimal value maximizing project sets against multiple constraints. Unfortunately, most project portfolio management systems do not offer an integrated optimizer that can perform rigorous optimizations against multiple constraints. A project portfolio management tool that ranks projects without the capability of performing rigorous optimizations is of limited usefulness. You should consider systems that have built-in optimizers integrated with sound prioritizing systems. Remember, an optimized portfolio can only be as good as the ranking system that was used to consider the projects. What should you look for in an optimizer? There are three basic types of optimizers. Brute force optimizers check every possible combination of projects to find an optimal one. These work well for small portfolios, but rapidly become far too time-consuming for larger portfolios. Stochastic optimizers use techniques such as linear programming and integer programming to find optimal portfolios. These work well for larger portfolios, but can also become time prohibitive for very large portfolios. Heuristic optimizers use algorithms developed from artificial intelligence research, such as genetic or evolutionary algorithms, to find optimal and near-optimal portfolios. A well-designed heuristic optimizer will work well for large portfolios and will usually discover a near-optimal solution quickly. And what should you look for in an optimizer? Look for optimizers that have user-friendly interfaces and allow simple menu-driven setups. Unless you have a strong propensity for doing mathematics, avoid optimizers that require you to set up your constraints in the language of linear programming. Look for flexibility in the kind of constraints that you can use beyond just not greater than and not less than constraints. Average not less than and average not greater than constraints can be useful for attaining overall portfolio outcomes related to average time and risk and reward constraints. Also, be sure that you can optimize to different attributes and criteria, including on efficient frontiers. Make sure that your optimizer allows you to force in or force out projects in the portfolio. You also want the capability of handling project dependency rules, so projects that are dependent on one another are included or excluded from the optimized portfolio. And finally, make sure that the application has the capability of easily comparing different portfolios optimized with different constraint combinations. In summary, Optimization is the essential step for discovering portfolio value. Brute force optimizers are not suitable for large portfolios, 
Linear programming optimizers can find optimal solutions but may be limited in the types of constraints available. And heuristic optimizers can find optimal and near optimal portfolios quickly with more types of constraints. Look for a flexible, user-friendly interface and the ability to easily compare portfolios with different optimization constraints. If you want to have a project portfolio application that lets you use optimizations like we have just talked about, then you should try OPSI, our project portfolio management tool. Simply go to www.datamachines.com, click on the free trial button, and sign up. I'll personally arrange for a free one-hour training where you can see exactly how what we just talked about works and ask any questions that you like. Then, you can try OPSI for yourself for free in your business with full support for 30 days. It may be the best investment of an hour of your time that you'll make this year. Thanks for listening, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.